Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon, and today I'm going to show you how to connect one of these little boards, the ESP32 camera board, into your Home Assistant for use as a really cost-effective webcam. So the frustration I've had with getting um, generic web cameras into Home Assistant is that some of the cheaper ones um, don't have the RTS feed, which makes them really difficult to integrate into Home Assistant. So you end up spending quite a lot of money on a, even a basic webcam and in order to get something that will be able to easily integrate into Home Assistant. So a while ago, I came across these ESP32 cam boards, and these are available, as you can see, literally at around the $10. This one in, even includes an external antenna, as well as this baseboard, which basically allows you to flash it and to power it via a micro USB device. This is a really simple device. It has an ESP32 on the back of this board. It has this little webcam, and you can actually change these for more powerful cameras. And then it also has an SD slot, which you can use to plug an SD card in for recording video footage. It even has a little flashlight or a LED light that can illuminate or illuminate your subject. So really great little device, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get these up and running in Home Assistant. So I'm going to provide the code in the link below so that you can easily copy this code and paste it in and set it up on your system. So what we're going to do is go along to ESP Home. Um, it's pretty easy to set up ESP Home. Um, I can see, uh, create a link in the um, video below just showing how to um, add ESP Home to your system. What we do now is we go and we create a new device. Okay, and we're going to say continue. We're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it ESP Cam 2 because I've got one installed already. And I'm going to go next. Now it's an ESP32 inside that little camera device. So we're going to go next. And we are going to go skip so that we can now edit it. So we're now going to edit this. And we're going to go in here. We're going to select all of this content here. And I'm going to go control. And I'm going to paste the information in there. All right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to go in here and you are going to obviously make sure that you've either got your Wi-Fi, SSID and password or you're going to have it like this, accessing that information from the secret. So we'll go and we'll save that and then we're going to upload this or flash it to the device. Now, when it comes to flashing your device, you can either use ESP Web Tools, which I have created a link to in the description below. It explains it all there quite carefully. The other method is to connect via your Chrome browser to Home Assistant, but you need to log into Navicasa first uh, to allow this to work. So once you've logged into Navicasa, connect to Home Assistant, go to your ESP Home device in there, plug in your ESP32 camera into a USB port on your computer, um, hold in the boot button, and then press install, select the port that your USB is on, and go flash, and it will upload it from there. So once you've um, powered up your device, it will then appear in your notifications, and you just add it into your devices, and you'll see here that I've got my ESP32 cam, Click on that, we've got our device with two entities. So two entities are the flashlight, which is the little light on the device. And then we have here the actual feed from the camera. And if we point that to the pot plant, there we go, you'll see that it is not a bad uh, little camera at all for the price. Um, let's see if we turn that little flashlight on, you'll see it's gonna illuminate that and give us some nice lighting there. So this is an amazing device for the price easy to integrate into Home Assistant. You can easily 3D print yourself a little case for this and it can be used for either indoor or outdoor camera and really, really simple. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.